And what's going on, you bastards? This is LP here, coming back at you with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to do the low-class warrior category against the Infinite World, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball World event. Uh, we're going against Super Warriors because, uh, yeah, I don't feel like fighting androids that absorb your attacks for a long-ass time. So... This is the team we're taking. Uh, so far, we have the free-to-play Bardock, Fasha, and Shugesh available. But since we're using this leader Bardock, uh, we can't use the, the strength free-to-play Bardock. And the other ones aren't out yet. So the only other right, leader for this. low-class warriors... I'm not 100% sure if it's exclusively the only one, but it's the Int Raditz, the AoE one. That's like 40% attack and defense, and then HP 80 or some, something. No, or I might have that flipped. Like 80% attack, the other, everything else is 40%. Anyways, it's not looking good. All right, so pretty much the rotations I'm gonna be looking at, which for a while, like I, I watched, uh, <laughs> or, so this new tech Raditz, he, he can stun and shoot Gash can actually uh, get an additional super, I believe it is. You know, I should probably check that real quick before I, I say that. But, well, up until a certain point in this event, I think maybe until Piccolo here, that well, the enemy can actually even be stunned. So, we'll take a look here real quick. Because I was uh, testing this team out, and I was like, oh, you know, it's an combo. Right, Fasha doing her built-in dodging. Fasha's got pretty good defense. Uh, okay. So this Raditz, he uh, raises attack and uh, has a high chance of stunning. And then Shugesh right, forms a critical hit when the target is stunned. Stun the target when the target's enemy super attack is sealed. So he can perform a critical when they're stunned. Granny, he's not gonna do a whole lot of attack damage, but uh, that's still something. And uh, this Shugesh actually ain't bad. So we're gonna have a Bardock off rotation. Uh, both Bardock, well, the friend Bardock's at 55%. I actually managed to go back into the banner. And uh, we got a dupe. It took, it took a while. But I managed to get a dupe, which I'm, I'm happy about. And I was on, uh, with the top grossing free stones that we got for Luxembourg, we got 30 stones. All right, so I'm going to have Bardock and Turles for a while. Turles will get, uh, kind of get clapped a little bit later on. But yeah, I got it with the top grossing stones and the Goku Black Rift. I'm just like, sweet. You know, Bardock's one of my favorite units, and sometimes it's dumb. I to get dupes with him. This time it's just easy. I died. Ow. See, Terrorless takes a little bit. Alright, so Bardock can be stacking for a while. It might be around physical trunks that I'll uh, actually transform Bardock. Because once his defense is around 200k, I mean, he's pretty much good to go for the rest of the event. So, Tian can't be sealed, but he can still be stunned here. So we'll go with our, uh, our little one-two combo. Raditz performs pretty well. When he goes against uh, Goku and uh, the Gohans in this event, you know, you'll see his attack shoot right up. Because he gets an additional 50%. Oh, and Piccolo as well. He's facing Namekian or, uh, wait. Goku's family? I believe it's Goku's family. Kinda makes sense. See, there's Shugesh, uh, getting additional right here. And Fasha did she actually crit? I don't have, uh, I don't have a lot of crit in her. Yeah, so 
now what we can do the our Bardock transformation. This is terrible. So I didn't bring Tora here because I would have brought Tora instead of a uh, Fasha. But then I'm just like, man, that's way too much. Uh... Oh, I guess uh, I was seeing. I was just like, man, I, I don't. I didn't see no crits last turn. I guess uh, Raditz didn't. So unfortunately, Raditz didn't get the crit off. But yeah, I was gonna bring uh, Tora, the EGL Tora instead of Fasha, but then I would have four EGL against them. Yeah, I mean, I need a little team diversity. Fasha does all right as long as she dodges, but uh, she gets hit around Goku, strength Goku part. Um, she takes a little bit of damage. We brought in Kid Goku because he needed some uh, some reliable damage. I managed to rainbow and to go through off this banner. Uh, my little, little chase for a Bardock boot. Did you guess? I'm glad he got that and he got that crit off. So, there you go. Uh, Alright, so Piccolo can still. No, he can't be stunned no more. Alright, so that combo is pretty much, uh, pretty much over with. Alright, so, what's our, uh, Bardock kind of? Alright, so 124. Alright, so Fasha doesn't be, if she doesn't dodge around here. Oh. Mm. We're about to get a Doke in the deck. Can I avoid it? I may be able to. Okay, we're gonna avoid it. We're not gonna give it Raditz. We're gonna give it. I'm gonna go Super Saiyan next turn. I know I was gonna say uh, I was gonna do it after the Gita, but I might just do it for the uh, to check out the Dope in the deck. Why not the one? One point seven one. Not too shabby. She is linked up, you know. Pasha. Pasha lowers. Uh, Attack and defense, I believe. So let's see. So, yeah. Our uh, defensive stack has paid off. Uh, so, hmm. I'll do one more t rotation with Turles on rotation. Turles is actually going to get. Uh, it's pathetic. Hurt a little bit. Me! Me! He'll be taking like 50k on uh, I'm going to defeat you! On supers right now. Alright, so we get this for the healing. Because, uh, yeah, checking Bardock's stats, dude. He, he loses like 20k uh, defense, which is quite alright. Time to get serious. So Bardock. Let's see what we think. Oh, shoot. Gonna go all out! 2.1? 1.8. Okay, I did not call that correct. Damn. If he was linked with Shoe Gash, I think it would have been But then again, you gotta take a cool consideration of the extra uh, jack of all trades that Bardock is. Get right there, the crit, this dodge, and he has damage reduction. You know, like 18%. But, uh, good. Alright, so Bardock should take these just fine. Uh, probably next rotation. Next rotation, I'll transform this uh, Bardock. We'll see Braditz. Raditz, uh, with his attack stat. 2.6, unfortunately died. Goku's a jerk. It's kind of interesting that they added, uh, had this Goku with dodge. Ow. So I should take a little bit. Alright, the Lord has come back. 
unfortunately in a type disadvantage fight. The 2.5 or 250 and then 283, jeez. But uh, I don't want Shugesh taking too many hits. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to do this. Unless I just use an item, but I'll try to do this without an item. That Turles back there though worries me. You know, you know how Turles go, boys. He uh, shoot, even, even Shugesh. Shugesh fights a lot better. Okay, that's best case scenario. He won't take anything. <laughs> All basic. Damn. Ooh, right back at you. Ow. Oh, I can actually use the Kid, kid Goku active with the Dragon Ball Z Kai voice line or whatever, which I hate. I actually hate it. Alright, we'll do the Kid Goku active because it's not all too common you see it. Hashtag not my Kid Goku. I'm betting it all on this! Take this! Now imagine this voice. They, they, uh, they did GT. I had to hear this fucking Kid Goku's voice the whole time. Make me a little sad. Alright, so Kid Goku did his thing. Alright, so Bardock is at... He's over 200k. We'll fall, like, right at 200k. That's a transformation. So off we're taking Bardock. Me! You know, who would've thought... I'm going to defeat you! Stack up. Yep. And the Bard... Er... Raditz, he's almost had a million... <laughs> Million attacks that so we'll keep the good good times rolling. Probably should heal here soon. Because this is what I did. Yeah, this Bardock will not look as impressive. One, because he's uh 55%. Two, I like that with Raditz, and I don't think he gets uh any sort of Raditz isn't the best link card. 2.7 on Raditz, though. Goku can Nice, and we got the crit. The Raditz? This is the first. I'm sorry my voice keeps cracking. I just woke up and I'm trying to record before work. <laughs> the Raditz is actually one of the first, like, side banner units that, uh. Oh, shit. Shugesh. My boy. Alright, I just want the win on this. Well, yeah. I just want the win. I ain't trying to play dumb. I mean, it's not much of an achievement. It doesn't really matter if I died anyway. I'm just trying to show a little bit more. Which actually... I mean, nothing is really going to change. So I might just cut... Until the until Saint uh, uh, Gohan, just to kind of show how Raditz is doing a little bit. Alright, so we just finished off uh, Strength. Ah, uh, you butthead. Strength Gohan. Well, that's not terrible, I think. It might be better. I know he gets extra attack. I'm not sure about defense. I haven't really looked at Turles in a while. Just finished off that uh, last Gohan. And, uh. 
Raditz had over a 3 month max, bro. The Raditz is actually, uh... It's actually pretty good in this event, considering the last parts of the events are all, uh, Goku standing units. That's good. Wow! Okay. So even this Bardock... Well, this Bardock... This is the guest Bardock. Is that around a 2 Wait, no, this is my Bardock. Even though his defense was around 220k, he still did that much against his Gohan. His Gohan's a little nuts. And actually, when I was like testing a couple teams last night when I was at work, uh, yeah, we gotta use that. Yeah, uh, it was this phase when I wasn't paying attention. I'm just like, yeah, we'll be fine. I look back and then I died. I'm like, oh crap. So we use an item here. Just playing it safe. We're actually gonna get a Doken attack here. This is gonna be the 55 percenter. Yeah, that's from the item, those stats. Uh, so we'll see. We'll, we'll get you know, we'll get the Doken with each Bardock. So you can see the 55% and the 69. Time to get serious. I'll check Bardock's uh ah oh, crap. Gonna go all out! Defense is gonna be a little skewered. Right, we gotta we got a few more rotations of this. Always super with these guys, these Bardock and Raditz. They're not the best, like, offensive, uh, linking partners with each other. So, Gesh is... Th that's, again, because of the item. So he's, uh... It's good to fucking go. I've been ready to throw down. We should really, uh... We should really get the, uh... The grade 8, uh... Smart Acumens. Getting them some EVAs. The free-to-plays are really useful because... Honestly, I hate using the Indie Forest team because they're kind of... They're really baby. Using this Bardock team would be a lot better. Also, you need to help out the Giant Form category. I remember doing Giant Form category SBR without a uh, baby or an owl lady. That was with an item. Holy crud. And look at that in the back. Turtles. Alright, well, we gotta use another item. This I under... I underestimate the Gohan sometimes. Uh, but yeah, doing that Super Battle Road without Int Metal Cooler, or not Int Metal, AGL Metal Cooler, Baby, yeah, it was, it was a nightmare. As a, along with the Guinea Force, that was my least favorite one. The Guinea Force one I actually hate, because I didn't have the physical LR to play, so I really don't care about him, but the only way to beat it really is with that physical, sorry about that, that physical LR again here. Uh, and to do that, you need an ass ton of medals from the, uh, the, is the battlefield memory. You need to use that in the shop, and that, you know, they already don't give you shit for, uh, for medals, really. You know, they want, like, 250,000 uh, medals for Uru, 300k for now the, uh, oh wow, we didn't use that item. For, uh, King Cole, the Frieza. I don't know how much to give you per actual, uh, actual, uh, you know, every time Battlefield comes around, but it really ain't that much. Like, I haven't really spent anything in a long time. 
and then I, I was approaching uh, a million battlefield maps. And uh, I bought a uh, 315 cold. I think I bought something else. I think I had to buy some medium aid yellow orb because your boy's been hurting on those for such a long time. I, I never really seem to get, you know, have enough aid yellow orbs. So that's a. Uh, got my laptop. I'm gonna start. I'm trying to start editing at work. It's a uh, downtime. And that'd be a good way to be. Well, productive in my sense. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I was gonna say, did I even get this Bardock to 69%? I think I used the last of my words to do that. Wow, are we really gonna have to spam items? Because if Raditz gets hit, that's gonna do a little bit. If Fasha gets hit, it's gonna do a lot of it. So we actually had to use all our items here. And the, the, I don't know, with the exception of Bardock and Raditz, um, and, uh, Kid Goku, the team doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Like, Bardock, or Raditz is at 3.3 mil. And he crit that, that's good. Okay, so this is why we use the item. Pretty sure I do have dodge and raditz. I don't think I've seen him dodge yet. Right, so, whoa. Wow. We are wow. Look at that. That's nuts. So if Bardock don't finish this dude. No, please, I want the AG Lords. I don't think Shugesh will actually finish up with Gohan, but, well, if he gets an additional, he may. I just wanted some of that healing. Jesus. That's so much damage. The Lord ain't gonna take nothing. He, he, he might just body this fool we'll get him out of here. Yep. What a perfect ending. The Lord has ended the event. He has... He has smited this fiend. But anyway, that's going to be uh, the the low-class warriors versus the infinite uh, Dragon Ball Z event, whatever. So a good little combo at first is Shugesh and Raditz. You know, have Raditz first, he stuns, and then Shugesh does his thing with the, uh, you know, he can crit. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it, you bastards. Uh, thank you guys for coming around. And I will, uh, your boys has zero stones. <laughs> After that top grossing, I just, I just pretty much, yeah. And I will, uh, see you in the next video. Take care.